Ross is live in LA for us this morning. Good morning, Ross. Uh, congratulations are in order for Millie Bobby Brown. It's all happening. It certainly is, Christine, from Stranger Things to Stranger Blings. Oh, yes, it may be 10 to 2 in the morning here, but I've been up all day <laughs> trying to work that one out. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, Millie Bobby Brown. Uh, she's got engaged to Jake Bon Jovi. If that name sounds like it's almost like someone else's, then you'd be right. He's the son of singer John Bon Jovi. Uh, it is, talking of strangest things, I think I did her first ever red carpet interview out here. She would just be 11, maybe just turning 12. She's 19 now. He's 20. They've been together for two and a half years. News was on Instagram yesterday. And they announced it with the Taylor Swift lyric, I've loved you three summers now. Honey, I want them all. The ring estimated to be worth £120,000, but pff, who cares about the price of rings? It's all about the love. He also posted pictures on his Instagram with the caption, Forever. Now, I may have done her first of a red carpet interview out here in Hollywood, uh, but she was in the Lorraine studio way, way back uh, at the beginning of Stranger Things. She was just 12 years old. Have a look at her then. It's been very overwhelming and very incredible, and I've met so many people, um, but, it, you know, I really couldn't have done it without my whole family packing up everything and really risking yeah. a lot to come and travel with me. But, oh, well, it was worth it. Just her little baby face, Ross. Look how far she's come. It all started here. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Ross, you mentioned Taylor Swift's <laughs> song actress. there. And actually, Taylor Swift fans aren't overly happy about the celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody happy about anything nowadays? <laughs> Say one thing, somebody objects to it. Anyway, uh, of course, they use the Taylor Swift lyrics. Uh, people were saying, oh, you know, oh, what a time to do it just when we hear that Taylor and Joe have split up. But um, one person right in the middle of this doesn't seem to worry about it at all, and that's Taylor herself. Uh, she expressed her approval by liking their engagement announcement post too. So um, congratulations. And of course, um, if it carries on to be a wedding, which we hope it is for Millie and for Jake as well, God, there could be Taylor there, Mariah Carey too, another one that's another name that's thrown into the ring as possible guest. It could be a, a big old do. Oh, I can, I bet it will be. It, there, there are rumours about her getting engaged again, Mariah, isn't there? Rumours swirling. Don't you like... Nothing more than a swirling, a swirling rumour. Uh, Mariah possibly engaged to her boyfriend, uh, Brian Tanaka. So what happened was she posted a video over Easter having the whole celebration. And then, of course, people going, now, wait a minute. Did we spot an engagement ring in that close-up shot of her holding the new family bunny rabbit? Not confirmed. Nothing confirmed just yet. Uh, the pair have been dating since 2016. He was uh, a backup dancer, one of her tours back in 2006. But a couple we will congratulate for sure, for certain. Hugh Jackman and his lovely wife, Deborah Lee Furness, 27 years of marriage. Hugh posted on Instagram, lovely little note today, our 27th wedding anniversary, 27 years. I love you so much. Together we have created a beautiful family and life. Oh, Very nice. That's, so nice. that's how it's Great done, man. isn't it? Very nice. I like that. Um, Ariana Grande. Um, yeah, well, she's been shutting down oh. body shamers. Like you say, everyone always has something to say, don't they? And sometimes you just shouldn't. Yeah, exactly. And uh, she's taken to social media, and rightly so. As you say, she's shaming the body shamers, and she's just telling everyone that, you know, she's never been healthier than she is right now. Listen to this. One, there are many different kinds of beautiful. There are many different ways to look healthy and beautiful. I know personally for me, the body that you've been comparing my current body to was the unhealthiest version of my body. I was... There you go. You know, if, if someone's happy, just let them be, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's awful that you have to even do something like that, but that's, I guess, the time we live in. Um, now, J-Lo, talking about bodies, mm. wow, she looks <laughs> hot. Oh, does she look fierce in this new movie? It's coming out on Netflix. It's called The Mother, and she's one heck of a mother in this. Basically, she's a, a deadly female assassin who comes out of hiding to protect her daughter. Also, just quickly, on the music front as well, it looks like there's going to be new music coming out. It looks like 
might be her ninth studio album out fairly soon too, but have a quick look at this from the movie. That's too stressful for me, Ross. I'm not good with <laughs> things like that. I, I need something that makes me laugh or just I just can't even start it. Anyway, I'm sure it's brilliant. Um, back, back to easier conversations. Rihanna, she splashed out on a new house. That's what I like to talk about. Yeah, it's a bargain. It's a bargain, Christine, 21 million. It originally was 28 million, so it's an absolute bargain. It's a penthouse. It used to be owned by Matthew Perry. That's there in, uh, just outside West Hollywood as it moves into uh, Beverly Hills. Uh, three bedroom, three and a half thousand square feet home. She's already got that, but this is now double the size at nearly nine and a half thousand square feet. Four bedrooms, eight bathrooms, four terraces. Oh my goodness me, it is another world. Hey, good luck to Frank tonight. It's a big, big oh, night for Chelsea. Yes. Go on, you blues. More stress. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Ross. See you soon. <laughs>